Hey everyone, it's Ryder from Skip. I hope you're doing well. It's Tuesday, December 28th, three days left in the year. So very important update today. And I wanna give a quick recap on EIDL grants, loans, to clarify some misunderstandings that we've heard over the past 24 hours, what action, if any, you need to do over the next three days, and how to put yourself in the strongest position going into 2022, plus our $1,000 grant winners. We're picking $25,000 grant winners, half our direct grants, half our grants for VIP skip funding help. So many of you have entered. Wednesday, December 29th is the last day to enter. We are picking winners on Thursday, December 30th. And we're gonna try to do it live, so be sure to hit subscribe. Basically, starting on Thursday, you'll be able to go to the Chances Lookup page, helloskip.com slash 1K slash chances, and you'll see your ticket numbers. So if you have one entry, you'll see one number. If you have 10 entries, you'll see 10 numbers. If you have 50 entries, you'll see 50 numbers. Those are your ticket numbers, and we're going to pick numbers so you can tune in live if you want to see if we pick you on Thursday around midday Pacific afternoon Eastern time. So hit subscribe and turn on the alerts for that. The SBA is doing one final push to tell people about what they need to potentially do before Friday. I'll say it once more. We put up this helpful infographic on our Instagram at hello.skip. Many of you have already shared it. Four things you need to know about. New EIDL loans. If you haven't applied for an EIDL loan, number one, where have you been? Number two, perhaps lucky you, you've saved yourself from the roller coaster over the past 18 months. You'll need to go to covid19relief.sba.gov, fill out the form. The SBA will not accept any more new applications after Friday. Very important. EIDL grants. 10K targeted, they will continue to process into 2022, but the 5K supplemental additional grants will not be processed after Friday. So hopefully if you are eligible for this extra funding, let me pull it up right here. You know, 443,000 folks have gotten those 5K grants, those supplemental grants. There's still money left in the pot. You know, there was 5 billion allocated for this. Only 2.2 billion has been distributed. Most of that was due to an eligibility issue because you didn't live in a low-income area. By the way, happy one-year anniversary of the $900 billion relief package, aka relief package number two. It was actually signed into law a year ago yesterday, December 27, 2020. That's what kicked off the targeted and supplemental grants. And it was a year ago that our team then quickly put up a low-income lookup tool and helped our app get up to number 80 under lifestyle in the App Store. Hopefully you already are squared away on supplemental. Let me go up to the targeted advances. Nearly 5 billion has been allocated. Again, there's still extra money there. The SBA will continue to process those 10K grants into next year. But the rule of thumb by and large is do not keep the ball in your court. If you're waiting to fill something out, take action today or tomorrow. Get things squared away before the end of the year. Probably a lot of you are making resolutions towards the end of the year. So it's a good idea to just double check everything. EIDL loan increases. You can request going into next year. Borrowers can request increases for up to two years from loan origination date. So if your original loan was issued May 2020, you have until May 2022 to request an increase up to your eligible loan amount. Okay, the fourth thing, EIDL reconsiderations. A lot of you are stuck there. Over a third of folks watching have gone through a recon of some sort or appeals. So technically you have until Friday, December 31st to initially apply for reconsideration. The SBA says they will not accept requests that come after December 31st. Many of you have questions. What if there's a lot of ping pong back and forth, which is the case for so many of you. And this is not advice, but this is what we've heard people doing. Email PDC Recons with your reconsideration letter. We have templates for that. We've helped tens of thousands of folks apply for recon. Obviously, if you want help with that letter to get it in tomorrow, Thursday, or Friday, helloskip.com slash join. Choose the premium or VIP option. There's only a handful of spots left. We'll do our best to help as many people as possible because for our team, it is absolutely the busiest week of the year. But if you need help, we'll try to make it happen. You can check availability at that link. If we can help you, it's still a good idea to get in your reconsideration letter, pdcrecons at sba.gov by Friday. 
Okay, new data is out. There have been new EIDL loans approved in the past week. In last week's report, 3,859,000 businesses had received EIDL loans. This week, that number's up to 3,865,000. So 6,000 new EIDL loans. So if you're at square one, there's still opportunity for you. I have more new grants to talk about tomorrow. One more plug for our $1,000 grants, helloskip.com slash 1K. Preaching to the choir, I think most of you have already signed up there. What's on your mind for the end of the year? Do you have questions about certain programs or questions going into 2022? I'd love to hear your comments today so myself and our team can look into it. Thanks so much for your support. We've been so happy to cover so many of these funding programs over the past couple of years. And we're so grateful we've been able to help hundreds of thousands of you navigate EIDL grants and loans. And for all of you who've passed on the knowledge, I've personally talked to many of you who've said that you've helped businesses in your community figure out EIDL grants, loans, the PPP loans, forgiveness, other grants, and I know they're grateful as well. So thanks again. Hit subscribe so you get an alert about our live video on Thursday when we pick $1,000 grant winners. Most importantly, stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you tomorrow.